Talking Points Memo reporter Justin Elliott uh, joins us now with more. Justin, you've been doing some exclusive work on this. There was a lot of condemnation of the Bush administration for the use of private contractors, and now we see the Obama administration expanding it in Afghanistan? That's right. I think this is an issue that you can file under the category of things that would be getting more attention if uh, Bush was still president. There are now about 11,000 um, armed private security contractors in Afghanistan, and um, when Obama took office, that number was around 3,000. So there's definitely a surge going on here. And what are the risks and rewards of using private contractors in a place like Afghanistan? Well, the attraction has always been that they're easy to hire and fire. They're probably cheaper than getting new American troops that you have to train and equip. Um, the problems are there's lax oversight. Um, you have incidents like uh, the incident in Kabul last May in which two Blackwater guards uh, killed um, a pair of Afghan civilians after a traffic incident. They were charged with murder for that last week. Um, so that doesn't help the U.S. counterinsurgency mission. Justin Elliott, and again, I guess the key point is that if these are major problems now, uh, they were major problems during the Bush administration, and yet you don't hear the same people sort of complaining about it now who were complaining about it then. Uh, Justin Elliott, uh, great stuff as always, Justin. Sorry to cut you short, but for more of uh, Justin's reporting and uh, the terrific reporting at Talking Points, go to talkingpointsmemo.com for the full write-through on this um, interesting story.